Okay, here we are. Most important bit, whiteboard is back. Okay, so in the first part we spoke about goals, what I wanted to achieve by the time I uh, fly out to Oz. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we gotta talk about how I'm gonna get there. Okay, so first thing you gotta realize is that when we talk about fat loss as being your primary goal, <clears throat> your nutrition is the most important thing. Okay, so your training will support your nutrition, whereas when it's the other way around and you're looking to put on muscle mass, then your training is the most important thing. That's the stimulus for muscle growth and your nutrition then will support that. Okay, so obviously my main goal is fat loss over the next couple of weeks and months. So nutrition is the most important thing. Fat loss, so we're looking to be in a calorie deficit over a prolonged period of time. And this is how I'm gonna get there. Just have a look at that. Okay, so we've got the nutrition on the left hand side, training on the right. Okay, so calories at the moment are roughly in between 2200 and 2600. Okay, so using my fitness pal to track calories. I weighed myself yesterday morning and I was 80.8 kilos yesterday morning. I had about 2,400 calories yesterday and weighed myself this morning and I was still 80.8. So I'm gonna have pretty much the same meals today to kind of simulate yesterday and then weigh myself in the morning and then see kind of if there's any weight gain or weight loss. Um, calories, your maintenance calories is never gonna be static. Um, there's gonna be some fluctuation up and down. With females, it's more pre prominent. So yeah, I'm in that 2,200 to 2,600 range. And then I would just adjust that weekly then based on my fitness pal, weigh myself every day or every second day and just get an idea of what way my weight's going. So the macro breakdown of those calories then, the only ones I have set numbers for is protein, which I'm looking for 1.8 to 2 grams of protein per kilo body weight, which works out 140 to 160 grams every day. I may push that a little bit more depending on, we'll say recovery, things like that. But for now it's 160 grams. Fat is set at 30 grams minimum and 80 grams maximum. So again, a big range there obviously depending on what meals I'm having on certain days. And then the rest of the, the calories then is gonna be made up by carbs. Um, the reason why I have it set like that is because one, uh, when you have a range of fats, um, it allows you to fit more treats into your diet during the week. Um, and then with the carbs, they're your main fuel source. So what I'll do is around training times, I'll have most of my carbs. On certain days, if I'm not going to be doing that much, I will drop my carbs, keep my protein and fat constant, and then adjust it then after that. So we're looking at approximately a 250 to 400 calorie deficit per day. That may not be, we'd say, 250 calories every day, but over an average of a week, so seven days, the deficit's going to be about 250 to 400. Um, Again, it's going to be difficult to track that effectively, but if everything stays with say tracked, which I'll show you in the training, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, that will again fluctuate depending on weight change during the week and obviously how I'm feeling, recovery, things like that. And extra little bit saying water, you're looking at 30 to 40 milliliters per kg of body weight every day. Okay, so I'll say that again, it's 30 to 40 milliliters per kg of body weight every day. So for me, 80 kilos, you're looking at two and a half to kind of just over three liters per day minimum. And then everything else on top of that then is around training time um, and then additions like that. So again, that's a bare minimum. Work it out for yourself. So 30 to 40 milliliters per kg of body weight. And then fiber, again, really important. Um, 20 to 40 grams every day. Um, I may not hit that, um, but to be fair, I'm making a conscious effort to increase my veg intake over the next couple of weeks. So 20 grams minimum shouldn't be um, that unrealistic a hit. Um, what I had in there in question mark again, you can see it down the bottom. 
focus. Yes. Okay, so I rolled in on high carb days and low carb rest days. Okay, so what that means is for the low carb rest days is when I'm not um, training or my coaching hours are down, so I'm not kind of that active, what will happen is maybe um, I will drop my carbs down during that day because I won't essentially need that much fuel during the day. Um, and then high carb days then when there's an intense training session or a lot of hours of coaching um, with a match, especially Sundays, um, which tend to be quite busy with a match in the morning, followed by six to seven hours straight of coaching. Um, I will have high carb day either beforehand, so the Saturday before, or the day itself. Um, again, those things, kind of while I'm documenting this whole thing, um, will kind of show itself up over the next couple of weeks. So if you have any questions on that, again, leave it down in the comment section and I will get to them. Okay, so training. So I've split it up into cardio and resistance training. Obviously, you can't have one without the other um, because, let's face it, people don't like doing cardio, but your um, levels of aerobic capacity are going to influence your rates of recovery. Um, again, that's another topic for another day, but in my own context, I'm doing no formal cardio, okay? So no uh, 20 minutes on the treadmill, half an hour on the Stairmaster, nothing like that. What I am doing is I'm tracking my steps, okay? So I'm looking to get a minimum of 10,000 steps per day, which is fairly manageable when you do the amount of coaching hours that I do, and that's a bare minimum. Anything below that, if I don't hit it, then I will have to do, we'll say, X amount of minutes of cardio, depending on how much I've missed. That's only purely to standardize my calorie intake um, and my calorie deficit. Because if that's not tracked, it makes it extremely difficult to calculate your energy expenditure and then obviously um, review your nutrition accordingly. Um, I'm doing upwards of 20 hours coaching a week. Again, steps on top of that, 10,000. So I think on average, on an average day um, where I do two to three hours of coaching a day, I routinely hit 24, 25,000 steps a day and I've often reached 30,000. So again, when you get an average over a week, that's what, if you did 30,000 steps over three days, that's slight, that's what, 12,500 steps per day. So again, it's very, very manageable. And I'll be training myself uh, on the pitch with the club twice a week and a match. Again, depending on work and other things like that, that may drop down, but that's in there anyway. And then my training itself, then I'm gonna look to get in the gym four days a week. Um, and I've split it between a push-pull and a push-pull. You see it there at the bottom. So four days per week. More likely it's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, or it might be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sorry, with Friday, Saturday, Sunday being rest days. The way I put it like that is because Saturdays and Sundays are my busy coaching days in the gym, and I've also probably got a match on Sunday morning, so if I do my last session on Thursday, I should be fully recovered by the Sunday. Again, it's just trying to manage stuff, and I've split it between heavy section and a moderate section, okay? so. As it stands, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do the heavy sessions, push-pull, early in the week, and then the moderate sections straight after it, or whether I'm gonna do, we'll say, a heavy push, followed by a moderate pull, or vice versa again. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll take you through that. But essentially, is the heavy section is going to be 80 to 90% of my one at max of each exercise. Um, and I'm going to be doing three to five sets of three to five reps. So weight load is going to be pretty high um, and then sets and reps are going to be pretty low. Okay, so the vo total volume of that session is going to be relatively low compared to the other day. Um, but what it allows me to do is it allows me to get some strength work in during the week as well. Um, and it also um, keeps up variety in the training because um, again, Sometimes training splits get boring, whereas with this now, there's a lot of variety in there and I have a lot of scope to change things during the week. Um, and also with the heavy day, this, the set 
or the rest periods between exercises and sets is going to be at least two minutes okay so again because we're in that 80 to 90 percent uh, section we want to create a larger rest period so that we can get in all that volume the moderate section then is going to be 65 to 80 percent of under max so load is a little bit lighter um, sets and reps are going to be higher so we're looking at two to three sets per exercise um, 8 to 15 reps again haven't decided exactly what exercises are going to go in there and a less than one minute rest for those exercises okay so metabolic stress is going to be pretty high um, a lot of pump during that exercise or that session and again just keeping that variety in my training okay so that's my own structure that's what i've gone with that's what i've kind of that's what fits my structure of my week best and um, it's what i'm going to be best able to stick to again while i'm hoping to obviously hit all my goals by the time i go to australia i have a lot of other things going on as well at the same time okay so i'm obviously coaching with ashley and akati um, i have my own business to run and obviously i'm still intent on playing um at a decent level for myself so i'm trying to fit all that stuff in obviously got family commitments relationships to keep going and obviously enjoy and life to enjoy as well okay so this is not going to be a priority for me in the sense that it's not going to be my number one it would be probably three or four but at least now i have we we'll say goals to aim for and also a structure and a direction in which to take my whole training um so yeah hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions on any of those definitely drop them in the comment section um, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated hopefully weekly um, on how this is all going again if you haven't already make sure you get on Instagram up here Facebook is where most of the information goes out for long form um, so yeah hope you enjoyed the video peace out